Okay, so I've got Midnight in the shop today. He's getting a repair. Uh, brakes are completely shot in the back. Uh, metal to metal. Kind of heard something odd a while back and kind of wondering what it was. Thought it was coming from the front, but the front brakes are new. And then I finally noticed rust all over my rim. And uh, yeah. You can see, shot. Um, it's kind of oily too, so I might have a seal out that I, I probably should do while I'm I'm doing the brakes here. So uh, that drip is blaster. I'm spraying the hard line. That should be the probably the hardest thing is getting that hard line off without uh, breaking it. Otherwise, brake jobs on these are are fairly simple, guys. You know, there's two bolts for your caliper and you take the bracket and the caliper off and the pads in all one piece. It's the easiest way to do it. Uh, they, right now they sell them you know bracket and caliper. I know they used to just sell the caliper and you have to reuse the bracket but they don't do that no more. It's all one piece. Uh, $50 core too on those so I gotta get them back. Get $100 back so um, I guess I'm going to start taking this apart. The other side is not nearly as bad. It's got a uh, brake left, but it's pretty rusty back here. I'm guessing these brakes were done a long time ago. It looks... Uh, these studs are blue for some reason. I don't know if they replaced some at one point. This rotor looks pretty cruddy down in here. I might spray that too and spray in here. I don't know if that uh, rotor's loose. I don't know. Hopefully uh, the rotor comes off. Sometimes they seize up around here and, and back there. So, going to get to it. You can see the rust all over my rim here from that metal to metal contact on the pads so if you're getting a rusty rim chances are your your brakes are shot okay so here we are taking apart this side typical Wisconsin truck uh, brake line broke off now this is where the rubber line goes to that bracket looks okay but the line broke so I'll have to go uh, replace that Typical Wisconsin truck. Um, there's the pads. You can see they are completely gone. It is right on the steel rivets. And um, one reason for these brakes maybe possibly hanging up and not really releasing all the way is these rubber hoses. They can like swell inside and then when you step on the brake pressure can go through and you have brakes but then it doesn't want to release the pressure and uh, brakes can can stick that way you can ruin new brakes always on an older truck I like to replace the the rubber lines too just so that is not an issue you don't want to ruin a brand new set of brakes but completely shot rotor completely shot and again typical Wisconsin feels like this rotor is welded on here to the hub so I'm going to try to beat this thing off with a hammer um, the only place to really hit this rotor is right here and unfortunately I, my traction bars are right there so it's going to be a little difficult uh, hitting this thing uh, may have to use some heat possibly um, I don't know I'll let you know once I get this thing free but again typical Wisconsin truck rusty stuck parts so I'm going to continue disassembling this and I do like to take these off as an assembly you know one piece it's easy to do that you got two mounting bolts top and bottom and the whole caliper and, and caliper bracket comes out it's just a lot easier uh, some of these bits so you can see this one here is a star bit and a lot of times you'll just break your 
the star bit or Torx bit trying to get those off. So I, it's just easier just to take out the two bolts here and just let the, the rebuilder deal with, with those bolts. Okay, so here's confirmation of a bad seal. You can see there's oil all over this. And what's kind of odd about this situation is um, you can see inside the, the parking brake there, you can see those parking brake parts that are shiny new looking. Um, someone's been in here recently. Looks like shortly before I bought it. Uh, the parking brake shoes actually look okay. I mean, they're kind of grooved. But all they are is parking brakes. I, parking brakes, whether the cables are alright and everything works, I don't know. I don't, I've never used the parking brakes. This is an automatic, so you put it in park. But uh, I don't know if I'll put the seal deal in this video or do a separate one. Uh, to do that seal, the hub's got to come off. And for that hub to come off, you got to pull all these bolts here out. Then the axle comes out, and then you can pull the hub out or hub off. But the rotor wasn't too bad getting it off. Uh, a little bit of beating on it and it did uh, finally come out. I'm a little worried that this side was worked on recently. That's why it come off and the other side I don't think has been off in a long time. So we'll see I guess. Okay so once you take this brake line off or break it off most of the time here in Wisconsin. Uh, there's the clip right here that holds the, the rubber line onto this bracket. Uh, that's got to be pulled off and usually that's rusty too. And there's the clip off the bracket. So I'm loading the pads and the calipers and I just like to slide this bracket completely off. I don't mess around with taking these bolts out. Uh, you just got to be careful of the boot here. Uh, don't tear it. Just kind of there's a, a ridge on this bolt just kind of help the, the boot go over that and this whole bracket slides off without having to take off your bolts. Then I just load the pads. Uh, one thing you're looking for here is that the pads slide uh, nice and free in this caliper. If there's any kind of jamming up or something, uh, something's wrong. They need to slide freely. Also, this bracket should slide freely uh, on, the, on the bolts here. So everything should be running smooth at this point. 
Okay, so one other thing that uh, might confuse people while they're doing a brake job is uh, which caliper goes left and right. Uh, some, I believe, are marked with an L or an R. Uh, a lot of them aren't. So the one thing you're going to look for is your bleeder screw. Now the bleeder screw always points upwards. So if it's facing down, if it's, it's on the bottom of the caliper, it's wrong. It's on the wrong side. So if you get them confused, you don't know which left and right is, bleeder screw always goes up when they're bolted onto the car. Okay, so next is to install the rotor. And you can see the first time I had trouble getting the rotor on. Uh, these Chevy trucks have a parking brake in the rear and they are a drum type that goes on the inside of the rotor. Now the shoes are in good shape and everything so I'm not going to replace them but when you had trouble getting the, the rotor, the new rotor back on, it might be because those shoes are out too far because of the, the old rotor and it's got some wear. So you might have to loosen up the shoes to get the rotor to slide on because it is a new rotor and it has no wear and depending on how old your old rotors are they might have a lot of wear so I'm also going to clean the outside now of the rotor I just cleaned the inside off when I, before I installed it now I'm going to clean the outside you want to make sure you get all this shipping grease off the rotors you don't want that all in your pads Okay, so bolting the loaded calipers on the truck is really easy. Uh, two bolts, top and bottom, so very simple. Uh, hard part is, is they're pretty heavy, so I'm going to get these bolted on and we'll move on to the brake lines. So another thing I'm doing is I'm replacing the bleeder screws with these uh, speed bleeders. I guess Dorman calls them a quick bleeder. And this just makes bleeding for me easier. I can just do it my, by myself. So uh, they're just a replacement. Take the old ones out, put the new ones in. Um, on new calipers, I do like to blow them out. They do not like to clean out the bleeder screw area very good. There's usually a lot of filings and trash in there. So I usually blow that out before I install the new bleeder screw. So with the quick bleeders installed I can move on to the hoses something with this many miles this old I like to replace the the rubber hoses too and with the new brake lines um, you're gonna want to use new crush washers they usually send them in with the hoses and I've got some from the calipers too uh, new bolts even for the calipers so I'm good to go so along with new brake hoses, I also ordered a stainless brake line kit for the truck. Now the last one I got was off eBay, but I was talking to the guy there at Advance slash CarQuest and he said that they can order whole kits. And I was just going to do, you know, make my own line and flare it up and bend it up and stuff, but I think this kit was like $112 or something. So I went ahead and ordered it. Uh, like I said, it is, it is a Dorman kit, but it is stainless, and it's going to allow me to just bolt this on, which is going to be nice. Also, you know, the flares are going to be perfect. And I don't know, we'll see how this fits. I'm just going to do the rear axle today just because I need to get the truck going. So uh, just going to do these. We'll see how these fit and you know we'll go from there okay when installing these clips for the hoses you can see there's a um, flat style and then there's a round part here that round part is for the actual brake line side you can see how it fits the the contour of that so that goes out okay so this new stainless line should be fairly easy it's all pre-bent. Uh, you are going to have some brackets holding the old line in place. 
and then uh, obviously you're going to have to um, take it off the, the brake hose there. There's a T fitting there going to the other axle. And actually I just took that off, that one there, and it just come right off. So I don't know why it wouldn't have just broke because this thing's pretty cruddy, but who knows. I'll get this off and we'll see how the new one fits. So I got the line in. I'm pretty happy with the fitment here. A little bit of tweaking was required, which you're not going to get away from that. Uh, I was able to reuse this bracket here, but it's not tight, you can see. So I might fill that with like silicone so that doesn't uh, bounce around in there like that. But uh, it's pretty close to the original. Got it in the fitting there. So pretty happy with this. Gonna get the other one on. And so I got the passenger side line in. It was pretty easy, just like the, the other side. And it goes about the same way the other one went. Again, a little bit of tweaking here. Gotta get my bracket on here so it holds it there. But uh, so far, I'm liking the new stainless lines. Uh, I got everything done here. I'm gonna start bleeding the brakes now. So bleeding the brakes is really easy with this speed bleeder. Um, all you got to do is open your, your bleeder screw and pump the brakes. That's all you got to do. The fluid will, it allows the fluid to come out, but then blocks it. There's a little ball valve and it blocks it from air being able to be sucked back in while you pump the brakes. So pretty neat. I like to put them on all my calipers because like I said, most of the time I'm alone when I need to bleed these. So the brake bleeding went okay, I think. I think I got all the air out. The only thing with leaving the truck sit so long is all the fluid come out of the rear here after I broke these lines right here. So it's kind of tough getting all the air out, but I might do another bleeding later on, but I gotta get all this stuff picked up. Uh, I don't see any of my lines leaking, any of my stainless new lines, so that looks good. Uh, pick up the tools, get the tires back on, go for a test drive. And uh, we'll see how it feels. Okay, so it's been a few days with the new brakes. Everything seems to feel good. I did have to bleed the brakes one more time to get all the air out. So, brakes feel good. Uh, that's the good thing. Bad thing is, is I got another noise. And I'm not sure where it's coming from. I believe it's coming from the rear. So I'll have to track that down. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.